the rapid growth of mobile communication systems stimulates development, manufacture, and application of new types of medical devices, as well as the progress of technologies for diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of patients. Vinitsa National Technical University, VNTU, had received a request from vascular surgeons upon a device for measuring physical activity in a reliable and scientific validated way. Uh, this device will address two essential needs for evidence-based therapy for elderly. Calibrated, reliable results are collected by the device which sends data over cellular IoT, Internet of Things. A comfortable, rocked elastomer wristband helps patients to monitor and reflect on their individual uh, physical activity. It will be the first device on a global market that requires zero user setup and can transmit data directly over cellular uh, IoT to any medical cloud solution for additional processing. Another use is emergency messaging. The aim of the study was to develop a key enabling technology, a cellular IoT variable device on a flexible printed circuit board equipped with multiple sensors like an accelerometer and thermometer. Also, alarm messaging must be enabled. The device will send its data through cellular IoT straight to a cloud service to support medical specialists in evidence-based therapy for physical activity. The proposed solution is uh, low in energy consumption, cheap to use, requires no user setup, and can be utilized indoors and outdoors. The general block diagram of the developed cellular lab saving flexible device is shown on this slide. Main components of the device are listed on this slide. The device has sensors to measure parameters of the body, pulse and temperature. It is designed for medical application and transfers data via cellular IoT from any place on the Earth. Moreover, the, this device has GPS and Bluetooth. The device can produce an alarm signal and transfer required data to a doctor's computer or smartphone automatically. The device differs from uh, fitness trackers because of the easy setup for the user. It is small and needs low power supply. It is easy in use, requires no adjustment and no user interaction. It can be used uh, 24 hours a day. An important task that arises when designing broadband antennas for wearable medical devices is the development of an antenna shape that will fit into the device case and provide a required gain. The antenna must provide stable receiving from any direction in urban environment. The shape of a radiation pattern must meet the requirements of electromagnetic compatibility. VNTU has developed an LTE flexible antenna. Its characteristics are outlined on this slide. This slide presents the radiation pattern of the LTE flexible antenna. Moreover, we have developed the firmware for the device. The block diagram of the algorithm is shown on this slide. We have designed a wristband for the device. Uh, this slide uh, demonstrates its appearance. This is the device case appearance. Uh, 
This slide illustrates the view of the PCB in the device case. And this is the bottom view of the PCB. The developed uh, cellular life-saving flexible device was investigated. The tested GPS manager modes are shown on this slide and the next two slides. Results of the study of the pulse meter implemented in the flexible device are outlined on this slide. Obtained modem connection timings are shown here. and connecting the device to monitor servers was tested as shown on this slide. To conclude, I would like to say that we propose a new device for a remote control of physical activity of elderly people with cardiovascular disease, which monitors such health parameters as temperature, pulse, and fall detection. One of the key features of the device is that it will always work, even in degraded circumstances, with poor LTE coverage and in case of contact with water. Thank you for attention.